My name is Ryan Smolinski, the support manager for SciTech Midway. Behind me we have the CAT 336 Next Gen Excavator and we'll be talking about the CAT grade slash earthwork system. The earthwork system uses a combination of sensors, measurements, and calibrations to calculate the exact specific location of the teeth. We'll use a dog bone sensor, IMU sensor behind the dog bone here. For the 2D system, we can use a laser receiver. On the stick, we can use a IMU on the stick. The boom uses an IMU, and the machine cab has a body sensor as well. Again, all these combined using proper measurements and calibrations give us the exact location of where the teeth are per design. The 3D system utilizes multiple different sensors. We could use a rugged Zephyr antenna. We can use a 975 or even a 995. The Earthworks slash cat create display essentially is an Android tablet. Um, you can load multiple different apps on here as you would any Android device. Um, in this case we're using cat grade or otherwise known as Earthworks. So to log in we'll just pick on it just like you would any app. Once it logs in it'll bring up to a, a login screen. You can have multiple different users, multiple different passwords. Most people really just want to log in and go to work, so it's set up for one login. We'll say log in. When we're logged in, we get a main dashboard. With inside the main dashboard, we have somewhat of a diagnostic screen, our system status. All those sensors that we talked about, it shows what's connected and what's not connected. We have our machine set up, so whether we're running 3D dual GNSS or GPS, if we're running 2D, multiple different ways to set up your, your excavator. You can run single, we can run UTS, and we can run 2D. Essentially, I like to call this uh, somewhat of a Swiss Army knife of technology. You can basically run multiple different things. Correction source, so in this case it's named Edwards. You can name it a network. If you're running 450 radios, it can have your, uh, your uh, radio frequencies here. We also have the job setup where we set up our designs. We can run multiple different designs. So on an excavator, we can run a simple surface. We can run 3D lines and say how wide you want your ditch to be. Or you can run an infield design. You can have multiple different projects and you can have multiple different designs. What you'll notice is everything is very smartphone-like, smartphone interactions. So pinch to zoom, pan with your finger. We can have three different uh, pictures. If we use two fingers and swipe, we can have two different pictures. Two fingers and swipe again, we can have a single picture. With inside each picture, if we click and hold on it, we can figure out what we want in there by the layout. So if we go into the layout, do we want a cross-section view, plan view, profile view, whatever view we want, we can put in any picture. Down here at the bottom of the screen, we'll see our text items. They're all scrollable and customizable. So if we click and hold on it, again, phone-like interactions, smartphone-like interactions, we can turn on and off what we do and do not want to see with inside of our text items. At the top of the screen, we have our project that we're working on, horizontal offsets, vertical offsets, and layers. Another very nice feature, especially with this specific machine, it's available with autos or assist. So if you notice in the bottom right hand corner here, it shows manual. So when I start digging, essentially if I can go to autos, and it'll hold this grade. So when I, when I, bring, back my, when I bring back my stick, it'll hold and won't undercut my design. 